All right, this is going to be another lesson for Sarah by Alex G. Since the last time I played it, it's like 90, or last time I taught it, it's like 90% correct. But the little bit that's not annoys me. So I'm going to play cover for it and it's, and then teach it. So here we go. resolve on G probably resolves on G um, let me see if I can get rid of this really cool sun flare yeah that was real yo I didn't plan that but pretty cool <laughs> just kidding so there's three parts to this song okay the first part is this intro part That's the first part. And then the second part sounds like this. So you go straight from that first part into it. Um, like this. Second part here. This is the third part and last part. And then that goes back into the first part. So anyway, that's all the parts. Now I will go through and teach each part chord by chord. So the first intro part is the chords G major. which is, and I play it weird like this with my ring finger because you kind of have to. So just do it like this. It's a pain in the ass, but it's really good to be able to play like this. So ring finger, third fret of the E string, middle finger, second fret of the A, open, 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 or sorry, open, open, and then pinky on the third fret of the B. And so you, and the strumming pattern for the whole song is down, down, up, up, down, up down, down, up, up, down, up, like that, down, down, up, 
up, down, up, down, down, like this. That's down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down. Just kidding. But seriously, it's down, down, up, up, down, up. And you see how my hand is just going down, up, down, up. It's just doing this the whole time. That's what you want because it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down. But with your hand just going constantly up like this the whole time, that keeps you in rhythm. So that's really important. So just try that really slow just till you get that rhythm. And it sounds pretty cool too. So anyway, over that you just add the chord G, which is what I just taught. Three on the E string, second on the A, open, open, and then third fret of the B. So you do that, down, down, up, up, down, up on that chord, G. And then you slide this whole shape up to the eighth fret of the E string. This is a C sharp. So it's just this so far. And then that time you do, you just lift off your ring finger and do open, but you you keep these strings just droning. You just leave this shape here the whole time. You never take those off. So you have this so far. Off, open. And then you gotta grab with your fifth, the fifth fret with your first finger, which is a stretch. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but you can do it. And the reason is because, like this is the bass line that's going on underneath. That's what's going on. So like the bass line is moving, but you have these, this and these that just stay the whole time. So it's like this, G, C sharp, open, fifth fret, C sharp again, slide down to G, G, C sharp, And this, so the last part of that, if you noticed, when you go back down, you do. All that, this is still part of the first time through. You go from that, you go down to G, back up to C, and you just strum it for a while. And then you start it over again like this. G, C sharp. up to C thing. And from this you go straight to the second part, which starts on E minor. And I play it with my first finger on the second fret of the A string, and my middle finger on the second fret, second fret of the uh, D. And you're still doing the same strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up. And let me call the chords out for this part. It's, I'll play through it real quick, say all the chords, and I'll teach each chord. So, E minor, A minor, C major 7, G major, F major 7, D major with pull-offs, and then a little add thing, I'll teach you all this. Back to A minor. So that's the second part. Let me do that again because I stopped and explained something in the middle of that. So it's again E minor, A minor, C major 7, G major, F major 7, D, A minor, C major 7. That's the second part. And so what it is is E minor. Open E, second fret of the A, second fret of the D. And to go to A minor here, it's actually really easy um, if you just leave your ring finger, or your middle finger, sorry, your middle finger stays in this exact spot for the chords E minor, A minor, and C major seven. All rooted off of this, so don't move this at all from E minor. A 
minor, which is open A string, uh, second fret of the D still, second fret of the G, and first fret of the B. So you had E minor, A minor, C major seven, which is just still this here, but ring finger on the third fret of the A. So all together, this so far on the second part of the song. high E string and then you go to F major 7 and this is the chord that I screwed up on in the last video but this is totally right and then D major and you kind of do this pull off with your middle finger that's like I think that's called a sus Pull that off, so it's D, a sus, and then sus, and then I think an add nine. That's called an add. You need to do your pinky there, but anyway, he does this before he goes to the uh, A minor. C major seven. So again, that's really wordy and complicated. But let me call the chords out and play it one more time. Second part of the and all. All timestamp stuff in the description so you can like jump back to parts and it'll make more sense hopefully. So anyway, uh, part two starts like goes like this. G minor, A minor, C major seven, G major, F major seven, D major, the pull offs, and the hammer on, A minor. Then the third part of the song, I think, is all you can do all downstrokes here. It's and I just do two finger chords. This is a G, and then F. But I actually usually play it with my thumb, and like this is weird. But I usually do it like that just because like I play with my thumb over the top like a lot, so I've gotten used to that. It's comfortable for me. But anyway, you'd probably play it like this. It's G. 3-2 on the E and A. F power chord. Which is 1-3-3 three, three on the E, A, and D. So G. F. E minor. A minor. C major 7. And then that's that part. So um, this is the part where he's like, to keep the play. That's the high pitched melody part. It's G, F, E minor, A minor, C major seven, and then that, and that's the whole thing, and that repeats again. G, F, E minor, A minor, G, or sorry, C major seven. From that C major 7, you can just go back to that G, which is really nice. Because to get back to the G from the intro, you just move these fingers from A and D to E and A. And grab that third fret of the B string. So anyway, um, yeah, that's it. I'll play through each part one more time. So intro. Oh, sorry. Doorbell, so I gotta go check it. 
yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are all good. And yeah, catch you later. Happy holidays and all that.